what are the disruptive trends that you would like us to consider yeah good afternoon uh, everyone uh, i think it's uh, tough to be the last panelist anyway i just make it fast i think i will take max of five to six minutes of your time and i'll be speaking more about i think your question is more about the disruptive uh, the trends on metaverse and xr and how well we can address the skill gap right uh, so as you know right we have just seen a lot of other transformation for the last three decades so 1990s is all about where uh, we are co communicating and collaborating through text right so we are uh, just uh, by using mail and pager we are just uh, uh, we used to share to our, our friends through text and two, 2000 is all about uh, images, right? So that's the uh, beginning of uh, social media. And we started to uh, do, uh, exchange uh, the information and a lot of other uh, things to, through images. So last 10 years, you know, right? So it's more of an, uh, the video-based thing. So because of a lot of other innovation with the 3G, 4G, and even uh, Jio revolutionized the complete way of communication. So within a second, we can go with a video call and then we can, we can probably, we can communicate with a lot of other persons over there in US and a lot of other part. What next? So that's where the overall the XR and matter was coming to place. As everything is going to be the spatial, everything is going to be the uh, 3D. So instead of just, uh, so we are collaborating everything within this rectangle box. So how well you can be inside the box? So that's where the, the lot of big giants like Apple, Google, and the Meta is coming into place. They are, uh, there are a lot of other limitation right now, but next 10 years is going to be crucial. Right, we are just going to see a lot of other trends. So like how well we are just having the website for each and every entity. Uh, we can see a lot of other, uh, the entities, organization, government, uh, the organization having their own metaverse. Uh, they can collaborate uh, with, with a lot of other people all around the world. Uh, they can onboard employees, they can train employees. As a CEO, I can be in the metaverse, I can share my version in 3D. Everything, it's all about the spatial presence. That's where we are going towards from video to 3D. And uh, so uh, ultimately, right, so we have just seen uh, uh, the overall, uh, the trends like the overall, the sale of smartphone have overtook uh, the sale of PC in 2010 itself. So next 10 years, we can see the overall sale of smart glasses taking, uh, taking overtaking smartphone in the next probably in seven to 10 years. So that's how the, the overall trend is uh, uh, it's happening right now. And even you can see the next iPhone moment uh, by Jan 2024 when Apple releases a Vision Pro. So we can see, the, of course, the, the Samsung, Google, they will follow suit. You can see a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the innovation over there. The overall smart glasses will be very lightweight. So today you cannot wear the smart glasses for more than 30 minutes. So going forward, how will we are just using the smartphone for six to eight hours uh, today, right? Uh, the same way we can, we'll be using smart glasses for uh, nearly around four hours, right? So that's why the, the overall uh, trend is going on. And to come up uh, to uh, on the overall the AVGC policy, uh, like I think we want to follow suit uh, like Dubai, Singapore, and uh, South Korea, where they have their own metaverse policy. So even uh, uh, Dubai have introduced uh, 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 GMP, that is uh, the gross metaverse product to value add to the GDP, right? So, so that they want to measure the overall, uh, the success of uh, Web 3.0 and Metaverse, uh, the ventures through GMP. That is a gross Metaverse product. So such a way we want to introduce, so there's such a kind of uh, innovation and uh, we want to stake climb like uh, uh, we are the India's leading Web 3.0 and uh, uh, the Metaverse friendly state uh, to, 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 to come up with a lot of other adoption to XR. And coming on to the uh, to the uh, uh, the overall uh, the skill gap, right? So I just take two minutes of your time, right? I want to go back, right, and in, in the mid of uh, 1950, right? So Kamaraj came with, I think, even I'm just sharing with the uh, MD of Elcott. Uh, they came uh, uh, with, uh, with the midday scheme to in order to increase the overall attendance in the school, right? So that's a revolution, right? So we are the product of uh, those those uh, scheme. Right, so my father stated because of the, because there is no, at the time there is no food, uh, the people are starving, right? So in order to, that's a motivation. So they just came with the midday scheme, they motivated people to come to the school, they studied, and then of course you can see a lot of other things in India, the Tamil people are doing a lot of other wonders all over the world because of the, the overall, the scheme called midday meal. Right. Likewise, so today's kids uh, kid are more into digital. In this uh, digital era, the kids are uh, completely into smartphone and tap. Right? They are geek than us, actually. So how? Because there are a lot of other lack of motivation, engagement among the kids in the school. 
So we are just following the last, the far last, last 50 years, we are following the same teaching method. I think we should come up with a, uh, with a thing like, I think the gaming will play a part, right? For, for this, if you are just talking about A, B, G, C, X, R, uh, the, we want to address the skill like creativity, right? Uh, the cognitive skill, visual motor skill. So these are the skills which, ne which needs to be addressed. So ultimately, uh, I think we want to come up with a gamified version of the complete uh, the, uh, the lessons, right? Even whatever the ad we are just seeing now is, it's, it's only 15 seconds. After that, definitely we, we are just going to, uh, there are a lot of other things where we'll be getting diverted. So if you are just going to go and following the same teaching method in the schools, of course the, the students are not going to listen. We, we cannot understand uh, what's a skill or, right? So nowadays only after the uh, college we can, uh, we can understand. I can assess my skill only after the college, right? The students, today's students, they should know their own skill in the, in the school itself. We should come up with a gamified version to, uh, to, to address all those skills, like just scoring, coming up with the score for max, social, and a lot of other things. I think we should have some other scoring for analytical skill, cognitive skill, so and so. I think I just request the dignitaries to come up with the way how well we can, we can change the teaching method through gamification. So that's why we just came with our product called XWall, right? So we want to transform, we want to reimagine the, uh, the way of learning. So that's it. Uh, thanks, thanks for the time.